How's it going, everybody? On a recent trip to Apo Island in the Philippines, the water looked different. It looked like jelly. It was filled with this very soft, translucent organisms. Many of them were in chains, and these are sipes. So these were in a bloom. There were so many of them because there was a lot of phytoplankton. The fish in turn, like these clients, butterfly fish, were feeding on them. So this was quite a spectacle. This is not something you see normally in Apo Island. So there's another clients, butterfly fish enjoying the special snack. And these were colonial pelagic tunicates or sarps as I said. So they might look a little bit like jellyfish, but they're not. While both of them feed on plankton and they're translucent and soft and they're in midwater, they're completely different animals. So jellyfish are really among the most simple animals in terms of their bow plan, whereas these sarps are actually chordates. So they're fairly close to us. They're fairly close to vertebrates. So at one point in our lives and in their lives, we have a coda, which is, you can think of as a very primitive big bone. And then something happened in evolution. So probably around 600 million years ago, a very long time ago, there was a division. So our ancestors, which at one point, of course, were primitive fish, they decided to become animals of action. They decided to evolve into a direction where they have sharper senses and faster locomotion and where they could act quickly to pursue prey and to dominate their oceans in this way. Now these sarps here and their ancient tunican ancestors decided to go another way. So they became filter feeders. So you can see their anatomy in some of this footage. They have two body openings, one where the water goes in and one where the water goes out. And then they filter the plankton, which the ocean brings to them. So they did not decide to pursue a life of action. They decided to pursue a placid life and to filter out and to grow from what Mother Ocean feeds them with. So Conrad Lorenz once said, behavior is always the primary mover of evolution. And I think this is very true. So the free living, fast moving life of our early ancestors, briefly after the split from this alien-like, jelly-like creatures, which we still see here. This split early in evolution was to a good degree, we can speculate of course, we don't know for sure, but was to a good degree made by the behavior. So that there was one branch, one brother, which decided to swim and to see and to smell and to seek out its prey. This was the brother with the will to power, to speak with Nietzsche here. This was our ancestor. And there was the other brother who decided to sit on the sea floor or drift through the ocean and feel the feet and just take what's there. So I think these are thoughts which these animals brought to my head, which I wanted to share. I think this is also visually very appealing footage, the sunlight playing in the clear waters of Apo and all these sarps floating about. They don't sting, by the way, so no need to worry about me. See you again soon. I'm back in the Philippines. I'm filming a lot. There will be a lot more footage. Support the channel. Check out my books in the links and subscribe, like, leave a comment, send some electronic love and see you soon.